All right, welcome back to Torque and Power. And today we're gonna talk about the hometown rally that Harley Davidson puts on in their hometown of Milwaukee, right? Hence the hometown rally, right? Genius, right? So I love this rally, right? There's tons of videos out there about Sturgis and other rallies, not too much when it comes to the hometown rally. And Milwaukee's great. I absolutely love that city. It's about an hour drive from us, which is nothing. Uh, take some back roads, before you know it, boom, you're there, you're having a blast. It starts this Thursday, tomorrow. Yeah, I know, I'm real timely. Got it out a whopping day ahead of time, I know. Uh, but I'll do some footage when I'm up there as well. Uh, but I want to give kind of some like, a little insight of my own personal side of it, of what I love about it, where to go, where I've been. I know there is tons more. I know there's tons more. People got rides, people got all sorts of stuff. Uh, but this is my own perspective what I've done over the years and that I think works and Why I keep going back every single year. I love it. I stay for the entire rally. I think it's an absolute Blast so I know I'm gonna miss some stuff, but this is kind of my own little thing uh, This is like my second take on it the first time I went to go to do this video It was over a half hour long and I was still running through it, right? So there's just an absolute ton So I'm trying to make this one a little bit quicker and kind of get to the point of it um, and then you guys can explore yourselves, right? I think it's definitely something to see. Uh, maybe down the road I'll do like a little part two, part three. I know I'll have some footage from actually going to the rally. All right, so let's not uh, waste any time, right? So first thing I love, it's at the museum, right? Harley Davidson's museum is gorgeous. If you haven't been there, you need to go. It's awesome. It's free for hog members. Go in, do the tour. Right now, I would totally suggest doing the tour with one of the Harley guys that are there, one of the actual tours that they take you on the walking tours, but I think because of COVID, they're not doing it. These guys are ex-Harley guys, they're so passionate. Each tour is different depending upon which guy you actually get, or, or girl, whichever one you get. Phenomenal tours. Uh, you just can't beat it. The history all the way through from they got one of the very first serial one bikes all the way through to their army days, the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, the 50s. You guys know the deal. 1903, the history all the way through. The museum is great. Plan on spending about two hours. They got celebrity bikes. Uh, they got everything when it comes to it, right? The campus is big, right? That's what they call it. They call it a campus, right? It's huge. It sits right on the Milwaukee River. You can go take a demo when you're there. Um, if you guys haven't done that, do it. Ride the Sportster S, ride the Pan America. I did videos on that. Those bikes, holy cow, are they fast. They are freaking awesome. Do yourself a favor. Even if it's not even a bike that you're interested in, you want to buy it, just go ride it for the experience alone. It is so freaking quick and such a great bike. Um, the food is good there. They have a place called the Motor Bar at the museum. That is good, you don't even need to leave. They have a can bar too there that you can sit there and have drinks. Uh, but on Thursday night, which is tomorrow when it starts, is bike night. Now the museum has bike nights every Thursday night, but the one for the national rally, for this hometown rally, is huge, huge, huge. They sit there, they, the, it, every piece of asphalt is taken with a bike. Every stitch of grass is taken, the other side of Canal Street, which is what the museum sits on. That's all motorcycles. All you do is see motorcycles coming and going. I love it because all you do is see bike, 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 right? Go through it, all of a sudden a whole nother slew of bikes come in. It is the coolest freaking thing. I'm gonna walk around a little bit with you guys. I can't sit still all the time. But um, absolutely a phenomenal, phenomenal experience. Uh, also at the museum is concerts, right? They got some great acts. Thursday night, like I said again, for bike night is Hairball. They are a phenomenal cover band. I love them. Whenever I can see them, I do it. I just saw them in Sturgis. They are so good. Uh, Friday is Randy Hauser. He's a country guy. He's great. And then Saturday is Jackal. And we all know Jackal if you've gone to Sturgis or anything like that. And then they're having Run DMC come out for that as well. They do hog events there. They do a hog ride, if you're into that. They're doing one of those on Friday morning. They're doing a hog uh, t um, chips that you can get at all the dealerships, right? The little tokens, and you can come back. And then uh, if you get like six out of the seven, they'll give you some prize. You know, whether you're into it or not into it, that's fine. Uh, but I just think it's cool that Harley does that for their people, right? To get them out there, to get them to ride on these beautiful machines, right? It's the whole idea. So, okay, so the museum, awesome. 
flash forward dealerships right there is six supporting dealerships i got a little bit of a cheat sheet over here so if you see me looking down it's because i'm looking at this cheat sheet right um or cheat computer actually it's on my computer but uh the dealerships that I have going on house of harley great dealership house of harley has great bands as well fun to walk around great people a lot of vendors it's a popular dealership right so house of harley is very cool milwaukee harley davidson that's another big dealership they're in right next to a gentleman's club so do a little pause there if you're into that so they have the gentleman's club there and they have the girls driving around in the golf carts giving drinks and doing the bikini wash that's always that dealership that's always big for vendors as well uh, wisconsin harley don't miss wisconsin harley wisconsin harley is in economy walk i don't think i'm butchering that but economy walk uh, it's a little bit of a drive, but it's, but it's a beautiful drive. And they have bands that are great. I would say they're the, the best after the museum for band picks. Um, and all the dealerships got bands going on all through the day, so you really can't miss on that. Uh, but I would say Wisconsin Harley definitely has the best bands when it comes to it. Again, vendors, they have big stages. House of Harley has big stages too. Um, but that's a fun dealership, especially at night. So if you can go, go out there at night or you kind of go to the museum at night, that seems to be the big popular choices when it comes to it. All right, so that's three dealerships, right? Uh, we have West Bend Harley. Uh, that's a small dealership. They'll have music too. But why I would suggest West Bend is because North Kettle Moraine is up there and that is a great ride. So if you wanna go on a ride, stop that dealership, visit it, and then continue through North Kettle Moraine Beautiful scenic driving. You can't beat it. It's really, really nice. And then if you want to go all the way up, it goes into Plymouth, which uh, up there is Road America. If you want to catch a race, I'm not sure what's going on that weekend, but if you want to catch that, you can. Great food in Sheboygan. All that is right there north of Kettle Moraine. Back to Wisconsin, Harley, really quick, where I was talking about the bands. That's where South Kettle Moraine is. So if you want to do a ride over there, you can go to South Kettle Moraine. Now it's at the north end of it, but then you can ride down through South Kettle Moraine and that leads you to a great food place that uh, is called Knuckleheads. And there's also Rustics that's right next to that as well. Good food, big hangout for bikes. You always see a big gathering of bikes because everyone's riding through South Kettle Moraine, right? So that's cool. Um, another dealership is Suburban Harley. That's cool. Um, super nice people. Uh, not really much rides around there, kind of that small town atmosphere, so you can grab a nice bite to eat there. Uh, Ukes, Ukes Harley is another one. That is south, so that's south of Milwaukee in Kenosha. Um, if you want to do a demo ride, all these dealerships will have demos, including the museum. Ukes is cool because they're a little bit more, they do like a little bit more of a country ride, right? So you can get out a little bit more country ride. I'm not sure if it's led or not. If it comes to the demos, I'm not a big fan of being led. I kind of like to go out on my own. I know the museum is not let, so you can just jump on a bike, head on out, and they got like a pre-ride setup for you when it comes to that. Um, so that's Ukes. I'm looking at my little cheat sheet, and I have covered all the dealerships, right? So that's always fun. Uh, food. Food, again, like I know there's tons of food out there. Go to Third Ward, do yourself a favor. It is wa literally walking distance from the museum. If you park the museum, it's right across on the other side of the river. Little bit of a walk, obviously you, you won't. You'll take the bike, because why not? You got a bike, it's cool to ride a bike. So go over to Third Ward. Blueback Kitchen, if you love Mexican food, kick ass. Their Mexican food is great. Their margaritas are even better. Get the Lucky, I love the Lucky. That's my own personal favorite. It's right on the river, like I said. Uh, there's Cafe Benelux, which is awesome for breakfast. If you do go for breakfast, make sure you go early. Scenery is awesome. If you sit up on the top level, you can oversee the whole third ward, see all the action that's going on. Um, uh, there's all sorts. Oh my God, there's the Italian places that are right there in third ward. Third ward is not very big, uh, so you won't miss a lot of it. You just walk up down the street and you'll see it. Wall Burgers is there if you like a good burger. Um, Oh gosh, what else? Oh, there's a Journeyman and a, and a Kimpton Hotel. So if you want to go up on the rooftop, that's cool. You can oversee the city, have a drink up there or a cocktail, whatever you like to have. Um, that's just fun to go to. If you happen to be staying at Iron Horse Hotel, lucky you. That's like a block away from the museum. They got a cool beer garden, great food inside, great food outside in their beer garden. Beautiful beer garden, great for drinks. 
and like I said, you're like a stone throw from the museum. Uh, they have bike parking there as well. That's fun. You head down a little bit farther from Iron Horse, which again, like I said, is right by the museum, by the Harley Museum. There is a fuel cafe. That's always fun for people to go to because it's got the, the motorcycle theme stuff in there. Uh, the food is cool too. The food is really good. Again, a nice bar that they have there. And great people. That's what I love about Milwaukee. It's such great people. I'm always feel welcomed in Milwaukee. And then Harley, it's like over the top welcome, right? They're always so freaking sweet, so nice. I mean, I've been there so much. I know everyone that's there, you know, everyone who works there, who's part of it. Um, I mean, you see everyone. I mean, you see Bill Davidson. You see Bill Davidson. I mean, you see him all the time, right? He's part of, he's part of the museum, you know, he's head of it. And you see him there all the time. He's the nicest guy. Come over, he'll talk with you, sign, whatever you want to do. Just a really cool guy. Um, that is awesome. All right, if you want to have a little bit more food, I'll give you guys a few more food choices. They're good. I'll kind of rattle them off. But AJ Bombers is good for a burger. Sobelman's is good for a burger, as well as a Bloody Mary that are huge. They have like these, you guys see that? Like they have huge margar or margaritas. They have huge Bloody Marys. They're like 50 bucks if you want to get it. It's got a whole chicken in it. You guys can look that up if you don't believe me. It's a real thing. Uh, it's fun. It's a fun place. They have a lot of Sobelman's. They have a lot of different ones. Like I said, AJ Bombers is cool. Barnacle Butts. Uh, not many people I don't think know about Barnacle Buds. Probably in Milwaukee, I'm sure everyone knows about it, but outside of it, Barnacle Buds sits right on the water. If you like some good seafood, it's great. It's kind of like in a marina setting. Again, great people, fun atmosphere, fun things to watch. I suggest Barnacle Buds. Barnacle Buds. That's one of my favorites. I like to always take my friends there uh, who are coming up first for the rally. Uh, I've never been up there. I always like to kind of give them that little bit of the tour. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna cheat a little bit more. Uh, the public market that's in Third Ward as well, that's fun, it's like a fish market. They have all sorts of different things you can eat there. They have cool bars, cool things to eat, all that good stuff. I'm actually swatting away a, a bee when I'm doing this, right? Because, you know, bees love me. Um, and let's see, and then if you, I guess if you wanna have like a dinner, uh, a little bit more formal, still very casual. So I guess, I guess it's not formal, but a little bit more um, upscale, I guess I should say, but still very casual. I don't want you to say it's not casual. You can still wear whatever you want, what, what you want to wear there. Uh, but it's Mater's. Mater's is phenomenal German food. It's Milwaukee has a ton of German food, right? Hence all the brewmasters that went up there, right, from Germany. And Mater's is great. So if you like pork chops, all that good German stuff, go to Mater's, it's a blast. It's been there since 1901. You can see all the celebrities that have signed it and have been there before. If you wanna pick yourself up a Stein, you'll be my friend if you do that. Uh, that's fun, right? They have all sorts of ones there. And then you can get your beer in a boot, right? A glass boot and drink it. Uh, make sure you drink that the right way. So make sure if you've never drinking out of a out of a glass boot before, you do that the right way. Uh, so that's fun. Um, I told you guys already about uh, Knuckleheads and Rustics, right? That's in Eagle, Wisconsin. That's uh, by South Kettle Moraine. That's a blast. All right, fun. I got like kind of a little list of fun, right? So if you're out there and you're like, okay, you know, I've done, the, I've done the dealerships, I've done some rides, I wanna try something a little bit different, I've done the museum, I got time during the day, here's some suggestions, right? Well, I already kinda of hinted at some, that it's obviously Brewtown, right? So there's a ton of tours when it comes to breweries, right? So you can go to Miller, it's okay. I don't know if right now if this is going during COVID with Miller, right, because they're a big company, but they got a whole town, they got a small little tour, that's fun, but, they're, the one that I love is Lakefront Brewery. Lakefront Brewery does a great tour. They got a great tour guides are there. They're kind of in an artsy district. You get tokens for drinks. It's, it's cheap to do the tour. Um, you get a lot of beer. So watch yourself, you're drinking obviously, you know, jumping on the bike. Let's, you know, let's, let's be responsible when it comes to that stuff. But uh, it is a great spot to go. It is a fun tour, it is good beer, it is good food there. They're right on the river, so you see people kayaking. You know, you can do that too if you're into kayaking. Um, but that is a fun, fun place. So when it comes to, the, to brewery tours, that's number one for me, Great Lakes. I've only done that probably, I don't know, 10 times now. Um, there is Great Lakes Distillery. 
that one is gin, a lot of gin. I'm not a gin guy, but uh, that will knock me right on my caboose, big time. So if I'm riding my bike, that is, you drink it, you can spit it out, right? Some people drink it and then they continue on. Some people start their night that way, but oh man, I'm not a gin guy, but uh, they certainly do have it there. If that's your thing, uh, the Pabst Hotel, you could go there, but they have a tour of the Pabst, right? All the beer at Pabst. If you had to be staying at Pabst Hotel, good for you again. That's a great place. Parking, not so much when it comes to motorcycles because it's either valet or parking garage. Um, it's really not conducive when it comes to someone who's motorcycle, been to a rally, right? You kind of want to have your bike around you where you can see it. Um, but a great hotel, awesome suite, stuff like that. Great staff as well, great restaurant that's attached to it. Um, a lot of history that's there. And it's right there where the bucks play. I think there's like someone cutting down like a massive tree around here because I hear some buzzing. So I hope that doesn't affect anything when it comes to the video. Um, if you like, what else is there? Oh, there's a casino. If you guys want to go to the casino, there's that is there as well. Uh, it's right down the road from the Harley Davidson Museum as well. Um, and there's all sorts of like pedal stuff, you know, a lot like what you see in Nashville. So if you want to pedal and get on a bike and pedal, they have tours of that. You can stop at the different bars and whatnot that are highlights in Milwaukee. If you want to do it on a boat, they have that. They do a pub cruise. That actually goes right up to the museum itself. That's really cool. Uh, Ride-wise, like I already told you, north and south Kettle Moraine, that's awesome. Go down Lakeshore Drive, that is fun. Uh, it brings you up Whitefish Bay and it just goes along Lake Michigan the, the entire way. Uh, that is just a great ride, right? It's very casual. It's not a huge ride, um, but it's a fun ride. So if you have the time, go through that. It goes through downtown Milwaukee, which is an easy drive, and then head up Lakeshore Drive and you go along all the beach, the nice houses, everyone's always out, you know, walking their dogs along the lake. It's a beautiful, 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 beautiful spot, right? You will not want to miss that one. Um, what else is going on? What else is going on? Um, at the museum as well, you know, they're doing the demos. Like I said, they do police skills, uh, demos. Uh, they do a stunt show they have there. They have a boonie bike race. That's fun. If you guys are there, I think that's on a Friday. The little bikes, they look like little pit bikes. They race some. Those guys always have a good time, uh, always having fun. If you guys have not been and seen that, that's always, that's always interesting. Um, I don't know. I think that, you know, you, like I said, you can go if you like pictures, like a lot of people like going pictures. If you haven't been to Milwaukee before and you want to get in, okay, where are like the sites I want to go with my bike to, uh, you know, to take a snap a photo, right? That's always big. The museum has the Harley signs and stuff. That's obviously popular. It's beautiful at night. You can go to the headquarters, right? The headquarters where Harley's at. Um, they have a lot of spots there you can take pictures, even right up by the building. They got some cool signs up and stuff. Uh, a lot of people take photos right there. They always got the American flag. It's always draped down. It's a beautiful spot. So feel free to do that. That's always a big picture spot. You could uh, go to the drag strip, Great Lakes Dragway. Uh, if you got some time, that's fun. If they got some drag racing going on or if you want a drag race, that's about like, oh, 30 minutes south of Milwaukee. So that's a nice drive. It's a beautiful drive if you want to take the back roads. Uh, you can always go to the lake. There's a lot of nice parks, all that good stuff, you know? So I hope this helps. Like I said, like I know I have missed stuff. There is a lot of things, but these are some of my own personal highlights. And I know I've even missed some of my own personal stuff and I've been going for years and years and years. Uh, it's just something I adore. Uh, I don't think I'm ever gonna miss a year. Uh, if, if you only have a limited opportunity on when you can go, I would certainly suggest going on an anniversary, right? So that's gonna be another couple of years when they have the 120 anniversary. It's bigger, they have a parade, they have all that stuff. But as many people show up for it, it never feels crowded. It never feels crowded. So I hope this helps. I hope this helps anyone out there like who's thinking about going to it, has never been, and now you'll go. Uh, any of those spots, you'll certainly see me. I absolutely love that town. Uh, I'm not sure which, which bike I'm gonna take yet, whether it's gonna be uh, Big Blue back there or the V-Rod or whatnot. I got a couple friends who are on different bikes, so I'm not too sure which one I'm gonna get on. But uh, either way, it's gonna be a good time. I still gotta clean the 
dirt off the blue one from Sturgis. I haven't even gotten to that point yet, but I will. I will before tomorrow. Always got to, always got to have a clean bike. So uh, I'm always a fan of that. So anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we will talk soon. Thanks for watching Torque and Power. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell, right, all that good stuff, and so you guys can uh, get all the good stuff because I got a lot of videos coming up that I'm still editing through, but I want to get this one out. All right, have a good time. Bye.